Hi, I'm Layla, the Coles Color Wheels team coordinator at the Milwaukee Art Museum. And this is Tummer, one of my feathered friends. Have you ever gone bird watching? Today, we'll be taking inspiration from John James Audubon to study, draw, and paint birds. John James Audubon was very well known for his American bird studies. He would observe birds in nature and made detailed watercolor illustrations to capture the bird's movement, colors, and natural habitat. For this project, you will need paper. I'm using a thicker watercolor paper today, a pencil to sketch with and an eraser, paint brushes. I'm using a big and small brush, and watercolor paints. You'll also need a bird friend to look at and paint. Now, I have quite a few friends willing to be my bird model today, but if you don't, that's okay. You can study any bird you see outside too. Maybe there is a robin or a finch ready outside your window. Let's get started with a sketch of the bird's body. Take a look at the bird you're painting. What shape is its body? My parakeet's body is round and squishy. Since we're drawing from life and birds don't always sit still, we're going to sketch quickly. Don't worry too much about capturing small details. Just focus on the bigger shapes you see. My parakeets love to flap their wings and fly around the cage. Is there a way you can capture how your bird is moving? I'm going to draw this parakeet with open wings. They also love to chirp and sing, sometimes really loudly. I'm drawing this parakeet with an open beak. Now that we have our pencil sketch, it's time to add color with the watercolor paint. Look at the bird again. What colors are the feathers? My parakeets are bright colors. I see green, yellow, and blue colors. To use the watercolor paint, I am going to dip my brush into a cup of water and then swirl it into the color paint. This yellow here is perfect. Now I'm going to brush it onto my paper and fill in the pencil sketch. Time to add some green. When you switch colors, clean off your brush first in the water. A napkin is handy to wipe up any extra paint. Let's add some details. I'm going to let my painting dry a little. Do you see the small stripes on their heads? Does the bird you're studying have any spots or stripes on their feathers? To add details, I'm using a small brush. This way, I can paint tiny, tiny lines. Now let's add the background. Parakeets are native to Australia. Let's give the parakeets in my painting a sunny desert to fly in. Our painting is done. Give it some time to dry. Let's ask our friends what they think. Hey guys, I made a painting of you. I think they like it. How did your bird study turn out? Thanks for bird watching with me today.